You ready, Taj? Yeah, let's do this! All right, three, two, two one, go! It's going! It's going! It's going. Yes! 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 yes. 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 Come on. We're almost there. You can do it. We made it. Just time to say hi to everyone. Hey, everyone. I'm Langston. And I'm Taj. That was seriously some hard work. Makes you wonder how trucks can tow vehicles heavier than them. Sorry for the extra weight. I have a bunch of rocks in my pocket. Seriously? Oops. Anyways, another question I have is, how many cars can a truck tow? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I sure am. It's time for... The Science of Towing! Woo! Let's start by learning the basics behind how towing works. Then, I have an epic towing experiment I want to try. Well, first things first, we need to start with some scientific definitions. Towing is any time one object uses energy to pull another object that is connected to. So, technically, if I pull something around on a rope or, say, with a wagon, that's towing? Exactly, because your body's the engine, using the power of your legs to push your feet against the ground and move. I knew me and Mater had something in common. And one of the most common forms of towing in everyday life is when a truck pulls a car. I've even seen a tow truck pull a whole bunch of vehicles at the same time. Science can tell us how that's possible. Basically, towing works the same as driving. You have an engine, which creates power, which causes the wheels to turn. When the wheels turn, they experience friction. Friction is the resistance of two surfaces moving against each other. Tow trucks create a whole lot more energy than is needed to drive themselves. So as long as you have enough energy to overcome the friction, you can tow something much heavier. Okay, is it time for my epic towing experiment? You're not off the hook for that yet. Let's do it! All right. So to learn even more about the science of towing, it's time to go hands on. More like wheels on. Let's do a few tests to learn about the most important factors in towing. Let's do it. All right. For this test, we're going maximum friction. Car versus brick. All right, let's see how it works. Uh, um, try, try it again, try it again. Let's try it again. I mean... It's not going anywhere. Thir third time's on. a charm. Thir yeah, third time's definitely a charm. Hmm. It's not going anywhere. It's the surface area of the brick increasing the amount of friction. It's a no-toe go. If we reduce the amount of ground the brick is touching, it might go differently. Let's put some wheels on and try again. Really good idea, Langston. All right, since our first experiment with the brick didn't work, we're gonna add wheels and hopefully it'll move. Let's see, I hope it All works. Right. You ready, Taj? Yeah. Three, Three two, two, one, go! go! It, it's working, oh, that's right. it's working! We have lift off! We have lift off! Yeah! Yes! It works! It works! It works! It works. Yes. It works. Reducing the size of the area touching the ground really works. Now we can move. Friction, more like fiction. Now let's see how weight affects towing. So the other important factor besides friction is weight. If you have too much weight, you aren't gonna get anywhere. So how much is too much? Apparently, under the right conditions, a tow truck can carry three times its weight. Got it. Should we start with weighing RC car? An excellent idea, Taj. The RC looks to be about one pound. So, in theory, we should be able to pull three pounds. No problem. And if the object doesn't have wheels, the towable weight is much lower? Precisely. But that practically becomes dragging instead of towing. For example, this RC truck can easily drag this banana, even though it doesn't have any wheels. So we tied this banana right here to the RC car, and hopefully it'll work. All right, Taj, you ready? Yeah, but um, one thing that uh, uh, Three, two, no, no, one, no! go! It's working! It's working! Taj, it worked! Dude, that was gonna be my lunch. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. man, but hey, at least it was for science. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Fine. All right, now let's weigh this custom built tow wagon to see what we can pull with it. The tow wagon needs to be about one pound. So we should be able to add two pounds of weight. That's easy. So I guess it wouldn't be able to handle this five pound bag of gummy bears. Let's find out. So this is the gummy bear test. We're gonna see if our RC car can tow this five pound bag of gummy bears. You ready, Tosh? Yeah, let's see if we can push the limits. All right, three, two, one, hit it! Uh, I well, mean, it's, it's working, but barely, just barely. Just barely, bro. Yeah, it looks like the gummy bear's really 
gums up the works. Anyways, on to our next experiment. So it seems like the five pounds of gummy bears was a little too much for the tow wagon, but I bet it can take two pounds of tennis balls. Only one way to find out. All right, time for the tennis ball test. Let's see if it can do this. All right, Taj, you ready? Yep. Three, Three two, two, one, one go! go! It, it's, it's doing working. it, it's doing it, it's come working! On, come on, come on! Work yes! Yeah! It worked! Yeah. It worked, Taj! It looks like two pounds was a sweet spot. Sweet spot. Not thinking about those gummy bears. Later. Now it's time to move on to our big experiment. Yes! Now that we've learned what has the biggest effects on towing, it's time for my big experiment. Pulling a bunch of die-cast cars! This is an excellent idea, Taj. And since this is our final experiment, we should make a prediction. You're right. So, how many die-cast cars do you think our RC truck can pull? I have an idea. Let's use the rule of thumb we learned earlier. A tow truck can carry three times its weight, under the right conditions, of course. So I've got 10 die-cast cars laid out here on the scale, and I've already weighed them out. And they all weigh one pound. Mm -hmm. So if these 10 cars weigh one pound, that means we should be able to carry 30 cars. If that's the case, I think 30 cars is a great prediction for how many we can reasonably tow to make it to the finish line. I couldn't agree more, Taj. Now let's get to testing. This is our biggest experiment yet. The greatest experiment of all time. Yeah. We're gonna find out right here, right now, if the RC car can pull a line of 30 die cast cars. You ready, Taj? Yeah, let's do this! All right, three, two, two one, go! It's going! It's going! Yes! Yes! It's yes! working! Yes! 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 It's working, Taj! It's working! It's still going! It's still going! It's still going! It's still going! Yes! It worked, Taj! It worked! All we needed was the right amount of math and weight to get the job done, and we did it! Amazing! The yes. epic tall experiment was a success! Yes! A massive success! Yes! 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 yes. Thank you so much for joining our science experiment today. And feel free to try out your own experiments at home. Until next time. Bye! Bye. Come on! You can do it! Come on!